catch off. Hey there guys, quick review of this um, Makita reciprocating saw. This is the uh, cheaper brushed version you can get, it's about 80, 90, 100 pounds, something like that. Um, there's a little place there where you can replace the brushes when they wear out. Um, I think these are like less efficient energy wise than the brushless version perhaps. Or perhaps it's just that they're, um, you know, the inconvenience of replacing the brushes. So let's have a look. So you've got the battery that clips on here. This isn't a genuine one. It's a knockoff which I bought on Amazon. Um, it's pretty good. And uh, I generally go for these Vanon ones. I've had one fail out of about six or seven that I've bought over the years. They're not too bad. So you've got the trigger here. You can lock that off if you want using this one here. Which is probably worth doing because the blades are quite vicious. And um, you only need to switch it on for a little while with your finger in the wrong place. And you'll be probably having a trip to A&E. So um, the blade release on these is quite cool. So I'm doing this with one hand. But basically you just twist this thing here and click. You can pull the blade out. And then when you push it back in, this bit here that you twist. Let's get it on end wise. Can we do that? Can we twist this one here? Like that, you see? And then just pull the blade out. Really nice um, system that. Um, and even if you used to fairly easy um, jigsaws with, with easy blade replacement then uh, you'll like that and the blades it comes this came in a kind of cardboard box not a you know um, a toolbox or anything and it came with two blades the, the ones that comes with are about this long and there's a metal one and a wood one in there uh, these are some Bosch ones which I got on eBay and they uh, do both, they're a wood and metal blade combined um, to stop you fiddling around changing blades for different things although I heavily suspect that a finer tooth one will be better for um, metal particularly if you're cutting through any thickness of steel um, but uh, if you've seen a hacksaw blade before that's kind of what the, the metal cutting blade looks like if you get a, a designated uh, metal cutting blade I've noticed this is pretty hard on the batteries this saw and they if you're using it for prolonged periods it really does um heat the battery warms up a bit perhaps that's a sign of the cheap batteries or perhaps not anyway so um we're gonna have a go at cutting through these bits of wood which uh i will now stack up using one hand to stabilize it now, when I'm cutting this, the blade may uh, bounce around a bit, so... So that was five, five thick, four thick, four thicknesses of six mil ply. Let's go and find something a bit more standardised to cut up like a pallet so we can see what happens with that. Quite half the battle with these. There you go, there's a chunky bit of sort of 4B2. It's another bit, bit of pallet wood, but we'll go through this one. Take the safety catch off. <laughs> That's about, uh, it's quite a chunky bit of wood. It's almost sort of, sort of 4B3 or something. It's also split, which may have slowed things down a bit. But um, yeah, so it was through that okay. There's a bit of pallet wood. Let's have a go over there. It just whizzes through that, you see. Um, Some 
nails there. Should we have a go with those? Yeah, go on then. So there's a couple of pallet nails in there. Let's see if we can. Mm, yeah, lovely job. That's pretty good, isn't it? So, um, yeah, pretty handy saw. Quite good for cutting like uh, wood, which is not clean uh, and it's got nails in. I mean, obviously, if you were cutting that with a chainsaw and hit a nail, um, then you'd probably have to replace the chain or at least go filing it for hours and hours to get it back to usual. A few years ago, um, we cut up, uh, well, there was a team I was working with in charge of and uh, led by a shipwright called uh, Tom Springle and um, we cut up a, a fishing trawler with uh, a bunch of these and we found it better than chainsaws because um, uh, chainsaws kept hitting nails and other bits of wood in the in the hull of the boat and uh, in the end we used these because um, although they were slower to cut through the planking um, they, uh, the, the blades are a lot easier to replace and when we hit, did hit a nail quite often it would just go straight through them so it's quite a good little saw this um, quite a big spend you could probably get a couple of other cordless tools for the price of this so have a think about it I guess but um, reasonably happy with it and um, should last for ages